Skylum sent me a new media release of Luminar Neo. Basically, that is still a pre-release version of Luminar Neo. It is not complete. The user interface may change. But what I thought I would do is give you a little bit of a walkthrough to show you some of the potential design changes between Luminar Neo and Luminar AI. So what's there now and what may have changed so you know where to look when your version of the software comes in. Hi, my name is William Beam. I'm a photographer just like you. Let's go ahead and dive in. All right, we're taking a look at Luminar Neo. You can see it right up here. And this thing just keeps on vibrating, which to me was a kind of a change of pace from Luminar AI. It only did this animation when the software was processing. And when it finished, you knew that your work was done. Now that this keeps on going, I'm not quite sure, other than like an aesthetic, if it's really as helpful as it was with Luminar AI. I kind of miss the fact that when Luminar AI was processing, you saw it and then it stopped. You said, okay, I don't have to wait anymore. But let's take a quick look. So we have our catalog over here and we can go click on edit. Now this is a limited version, so it doesn't have some of the features that we're looking for. So for example, the templates or looks or whatever they've called them in the past, we don't have in here. We also don't have layers and some of the other tools that we know are forthcoming. But overall, I'd say that there are a few subtle differences. So let's take a look over here. The first thing you see on the top of the menu is crop. And this looks kind of familiar. Let me switch over to Luminar AI. And at the top, we had enhanced and composition AI was there. So it is pretty much the same tool as composition AI. Now it is simply called crop AI. And I'm not going to go into too much detail of how the tools work. I just want to show you what they are, where they are, and maybe if they have a different name. So you can see that the user interface for crop is over here. And you've still got your different types of crops that you can do. And there's still some things in here for Facebook feed and Facebook cover. And a lot of common sizes that you can just quick and easily do. There's also a transpose. If we select that one, you can see how that switches from a landscape to a portrait mode. So if we want to go back and do that, we can just simply go back to original. We also see there is develop, whereas this is a little different than if we go back over to Luminar AI, I'll close this down. That was the light tool. So I think I like develop better to me. It makes much more sense with these tools. I'm looking for things that in my mind that this is how you develop the photo. So these are the common things. So let's go back to Luminar Neo. And you can see your exposure, smart contrast, highlights, and shadows. But there are a number of other options down here. One of the first ones that caught my eye were down here, optics, auto corrections, and optics manual corrections. If you recall, in Luminar AI, those were completely different tools down at the professional tab. So let me once again switch over. And as we scroll down, you can see this is where your optics options were. So you had a defringe. And then you had your manual tools over here. So if we change that back over here, the auto correction is your auto defringe and your manual corrections are the same things over here. So that was actually kind of handy. You can see there is noise reduction, sharpness, color is in here as well now, and curves, which we had before, and black and whites are also in here. So the develop tool has changed quite a bit. And if we look at Further down, you'll notice that we also have black and white here. So this is the convert to black and white with your luminance and your saturation. And under develop, black and whites are very much simpler. It is simply moving your black point and your white points. So keep that in mind as you're setting your white point. You can do that over here. You can always double click on the title to reset back to zero. So it says black and whites here and black and white here. It could be a little bit confusing, but once you understand that this is setting your black point and your white point, which is common within uh, develop modules, it is not the same thing as the black and white tool down here. We have Relight AI, which is something that I was able to show you in the previous release version that cleared these things up. And the tools are the same, but there is something that's a little bit different. As I bring up, let's say, brightness near, notice up here, as soon as I moved a slider, there is an option for a mask, 
We couldn't do this in the previous version. I know a lot of people requested the ability to do a mask. So now you can use a mask on your Relight AI. And you can use a uh, painted mask, radial, or a gradient, same as we've had with Luminar AI. You can change the size of your brush. You can change the softness and the strength. And of course, over here, you can erase whatever happened. And this option over here with the three dots gives you this menu to fill, invert, clear. You can copy and paste masks and you can show the mask. So let's say if we did, all right, so you can see it right there. And if I hit the slash key, there's my mask and there's where I've erased out of it because that's the tool that I have selected. So let me go ahead and clear that. So I don't know exactly how I'm gonna use that in Relight AI yet, but that depends on when you start you know, working with your photographs. As we've talked about with the advanced settings with the warmth near and the warmth far. So if I pull the warmth far down, you can see how it's cooling off the background and giving it much more of a blue tint. It's also hitting her on the face a little bit, but remember this is uh, human aware. So I can go ahead and pull up the warmth near and bring some color back into her face. And of course, you could do the same thing. I think with a gray background, it doesn't look quite as good on the background if I make that warm. So I kind of like cooling down the background and then having some skin tones that are warmed up a little bit. And same thing with you do when you do your uh, brightness near, I can brighten up her face and I can darken kind of the background that way. So it gives you a little bit more fine control. I'm just like moving my mouse a little bit. And you can see how the lighting is changing on her. And of course, you do that to whatever the taste is and whatever your subject needs. But if we take a look down here, I'll click this little eyeball. We started off there and we end up here. Very subtle change, but it also has a very dramatic difference on how you make your subject pop off of the background. I'm going to reset this. And you know what? I'm going to go back up here to erase because I also wanted to point out from what we saw in the previous re technical release that we had, this is where you remove your power lines and this is where you remove your dust spots. So I chose this photo specifically because I have sensor dust. So it's very simple. You click that, you can see that it says removing. And then a little bit later, you don't have dust spots anymore. Just like that. So that's one of the handiest little features and probably the best use of AI technology is just to get rid of power lines and dust spots. One of the things I also noticed is down here under professional, we don't have quite the same tools. I mentioned that the optics moved up to develop. There are a couple of things that are missing. So if I come over here to Luminar AI, you see we have dodge and burn and we have clone. So those are things I expect are probably gonna be in the final release. And for some reason, I don't know. I don't see them here. And quite honestly, I don't see other things that I expect. So for example, we don't see layers in this version. We don't see how to add textures in this version. And it is a limited release. So unless I'm just clearly missing something on here, there are actions down here, which is basically revert to original. You can also come over to the history tab and you can see what we've done. If you want, you can click original here. You can see what objects were removed and you can see what we've done with the erase tool and we can change all of that again. That was the last tool that I used but we can bring this right back to the original and my dust spots are back in Luminar AI. That would happen down here. So for example, if I were to do something, let's say we'll take glow, we'll add a little bit. You can see down here at the bottom one, it mentions the templates, which of course you see up top here. And then you've also got these three dots. So if you want to reset your adjustments, that's how you did it here. That was, this is basically your history down at the bottom. So when we go to Luminar Neo, at least in this release, the history is right here. So it's a little bit different. I think it's actually kind of handy to have it up at the top, but it's just a, a little bit of a difference to get used to. And you can see the various steps. So if you want to, you can toggle these on and off to see what's inside of them. And I think that looks uh, like, a, like a nice improvement. You're getting more information rather than just reset back to, you know, the original. Now, since this is a media release and it's not the final thing, the user interface may change. Obviously, I think it will. There are no templates up here. Also, you don't see any way to export the software. Even if I come over here to file, 
I've got an export right here, but you don't see the, the menu options. So I expect this is not the final release we're going to see on the user interface, but it's probably relatively close to what to expect. And I just kind of wanted to come in here and give you a look at the comparison of the user interface between Luminar Neo and Luminar AI. If you're interested in getting Luminar Neo or Luminar AI, I'll have links in the description below. For Luminar AI, you can use my coupon codes, the same as my last name, Beam, and that'll save you $10. There is currently a sale going on for Luminar Neo, and that I'm in December of 2021, so that will end. I think when this software releases, it is still scheduled for winter of this season, 2021, 2022. I don't have an exact date. Once I do get a final release of this, I will start working on my course. And that is my bonus offer to anyone who decides to purchase Luminar Neo from me. I already have a bonus course for Luminar AI. So if you purchase Luminar AI using my coupon code or my affiliate link that's in the description below, send me your receipt. I will verify that with Skylum. And once they come back and say, yes, this was added to your account, I will give you access to the course for free. So Luminar AI course exists now. We have people who are already using that. And Luminar Neo will be forthcoming once I get a release that is stable and, and final user interface. Because I don't want to record something with this user interface that's obviously going to change or is missing some things right now. But that is the bonus that I offer. If you support me with my affiliate link, there is no extra cost to you. And I hope that is something that's useful to you. Uh, typically, the way I do this is to go over every feature, every facet, and show you how it's used. And so we'll go over the crop tool and we'll go over each of these settings, for example, and we'll just kind of work our way down. It's good to learn how the tool works and it's good for a reference later on if you say, oh, I forgot how the um, dramatic tool works. Well, and of course you get access to the course ongoing. Thanks so much for spending a little time with, here with me today. I really appreciate it. If you like this video, please go ahead, click the like button. That lets the YouTube overlords know that I've done something right. They will share this with more people and that really helps the channel grow. See you in the next video.